<laughs> All right. Yes, there's no light in this room. There's no light. There's no light. Oh, well, it's five o'clock. What do I expect? This is a good angle. It's great, no complaints. No complaints! What's up everyone, week five. This is my people watching window I have you place up on. I just sit here and watch people all day. I watch people all day long. You know when your face feels really stiff and like kind of uh, dry after you've been crying? I feel like that right now, but I haven't really been crying. Maybe it's a sign I need to cry. I don't really talk about this a lot, but I really want to start going out for auditions and being in really, really small productions. Like I really want to start acting on a very small level, work my way up. So I've been doing a lot of exercises going on YouTube, watching tutorials and how to like really sharpen your acting just cause there's a lot of time now, you know, we're in quarantine. So I actually have started to learn how to cry on command. I never used to be able to do it before. So I kind of wanted to give you, I don't know, I just, it's kind of like embarrassing just cause, not as embarrassing, just, I don't know, it's just something I've been working on and I kind of want to see if I can do it on camera um, because I've, I've only really been doing it in my room in front of my computer. So yeah, this is sort of how I've been learning how to cry on command. It's not the best, but um, like I said, it is work in progress. I'm learning how to act and learning how to do all that stuff. Just like learning the techniques. Like I think anyone can act. You just have to learn and be dedicated to the craft and like techniques and stuff. Okay. I can cry every time I think of my life, so we're good. I can just start crying anytime I think of the state the world is in, our current administration, our president. So if you couldn't tell, I have not been sharpening my acting skills. However, I do want to start going out for auditions, and that was a goal that I had in 2020. I was watching my favorite YouTuber in the world, Ashley Miss Best Dress, and she always does this thing where she lights a fire right underneath my ass. When it comes to her work ethic and her ability to work really hard, like I want that. I want to be just like that. I'm so bad. Like, I just sit here and I think about, wow, like, I could get so... You see, I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have been experiencing this in quarantine, um, just being at home a lot, but the place is becoming a trash die. Just, just shit everywhere. You know, you're inhabiting your place more than you usually do. And I kind of want to take this moment, this evening to fix that because I'm sick of it. All my shit is scattered. Over the last like eight months, I slowly allowed myself to trash every aspect of my room. For a minute, I was using my parents' office as a home office, but then I realized, well, I'm really not getting a lot of work done. Like, I really like working in this house. I My work ethic is so much better. Like, I feel like I shouldn't have to drive 20 minutes to my parents' house just to work. Like, I should be able to make this space work. I'm paying for this space. So I, you know, took it upon myself to say, okay, scratch the whole office in their house idea. So yeah, basically just everything is everywhere. and. And I kind of want to do something about it because I'm sick of the clutter. So, let's go. Making the vinaigrette, right? Oh, making the, making the vinaigrette. I'm chopping off some vegetables. I had some chips and salsa earlier. I don't know, I might put a pizza in the oven. Anyways, I thought we would cook and chat. You guys really seem to love the vlog. Basically, I'm just putting all the vegetables into this vinaigrette because I wanna make like a cucumber, tomato. My next door neighbor is British and she said tomato once and it cured my depression. Actually, in that specific context, she kept saying to make tomato. Like she was like, yes, we were going tomatoes, but the tomatoes were like too small in the tomato garden. I was like, this is overwhelming. Okay, so I live in like a duplex. It's like two houses connected by walls. So she could hear me, but I love them. They're like the best neighbors. They're so incredibly nice. I think this might be way too much dressing for the amount of vegetables. We're gonna try it. We're gonna go ahead and give it a try. A little veggie. Oh! That is so good. Wow. Now I'm gonna put pizza in the oven. You know, having a night to myself. And guess what? Guess what the tea is on this? I didn't even use any measurements. The last time I talked to you guys, I said I wanted to rearrange something, but then I started eating. So that might have to be put on her tits tomorrow. Ooh, it's like so fresh, you know, like, ooh. 
Anyways, here we are. We're gonna put this bitch in the oven. It is an organic roasted vegetable pizza. 420 is coming up. What are we doing, girls? What are we doing for 420? <laughs> I forgot. We're in a pandemic. <laughs> You gotta see this. The content is riveting. I threw the box of pizza up and it landed on the ceiling fan. Silicone mat. These are what the girls and gays say sustainable. She's beautiful. Anyways, the way that I can say words in Italian is just incredible. Mozzarella. Sboget. Let me know down below if my Italian pronunciation is good. Here is why I don't really like to buy mozzarella, specifically the mozzarella logs from Trader Joe's, is because I will literally sit there and they're pre-cut, so all you gotta do is grab them. Mm, that's it. Mozzarella on, lights off, boogie time. Boogie time. Boogie time. Boogie time. And that's how you heat up a pizza. <laughs> I should have started recording <laughs> when I made this damn salad because it's so freaking good. It's so juicy. I'm gonna actually FaceTime my roommate. I'm gonna FaceTime Anna to let her know how good it is. She said, I'm on hold with JetBlue. Can I call you back? I'm gonna say, it's an, it's, I don't want, I don't want to say it's an emergency because I don't want to freak her out, but, because I got to tell her about this dressing. <sighs> <laughs> I just ate that in the most barbaric ass, woolly mammoth ass way. I don't even have the timer on. <laughs> Well, good morning. I'm making coffee. I'm making this steep coffee. Um, it's my favorite coffee in the world, Bad Dwarf and Bronson. I don't have steep coffee ever. Ever. But my CrossFit gym dropped off like a little goodie mug and coffee. <laughs> oh, um, I don't know if I should blur out the name, but it's like really moist in here. I don't really do this. Like, I feel like steep coffee is like kind of wasteful, you know? Guess what's still on the ceiling? The pizza box. <laughs> I think I want a breakfast quesadilla. Later on that day, I decided I wanted to do something with this area. This is basically our shit trunk. We just constantly throw a bunch of shit down on it, and I wanted to make it a productive space, something that wasn't an eyesore. Later on in this video, I talk about my moving plans. Yep, but more on that later. But in the meantime, I wanted to create a small little work area in the living room. I brought my monitor down with my other tech stuff and decided to turn this trunk into an office space. And this was my attempt at decorating. <laughs> this kind of looks dumb with the messy medi meta me meta. There she is, baby. My office space. Okay, for seating wise, that's that's like up in the air. Like, I don't know how I'm supposed to sit at this. So here is the moment of truth. Was I going to be able to sit at my new office space? <laughs> the answer is no. I literally look like a blob. <laughs> I love looking at my backside always. <laughs> then I got a little creative. I was like, what if I shifted my monitor over a little bit and sat down on the edge of the staircase? Once again, my foot looks broken. <laughs> I literally look like I broke my foot. But yeah, that just definitely wasn't gonna work out. There was not enough room and we were kind of back to square one. What's up? I don't even know where to start. This weekend, one of my roommates is moving out and I will be moving into her room, which is the room right next door. And then a month from now, another girl's gonna come in and live with us, and she's moving into my room. I have to pack all my shit up and move it right next door. I was like, hey, this is great vlog content because, um, okay, but like, why do I look low-key sexy like this? POV, I'm standing over you. The shelves have to come down. I'm taking the shelves with me. My wall organizer's coming with me. Really, that's it. Those are like the things I need to like take down, but this closet is a disaster. Everything is everywhere. 
I don't know what's up and I don't know what's down. On Amazon a while ago, I bought this organizer that I thought was gonna be way bigger than it was to hold all of my electronics. Wrong, 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 wrong. Everything's a mess, everything's a shit show. Okay, so this is, I don't even want to do this. Basically, the goal for right now is to consolidate all of my belongings so it's easier to transport. For a while, this room was functioning, and if you guys saw, like, months and months ago, I made a whole entire room transformation, and that video was not a lie. It did work for a little bit, but then um, it got really hard as time went on, just having to keep track of everything. Like, when you're in a really small space, like, you have to be organized, and girl, that's not me. What is this? Wow. By the way, this actually works really well. I highly recommend. I haven't used it in a long while, so I got a little bit of gr dry, crusty feet. These are all my disposable photos from my 24th birthday party. Looking at these is like the most bittersweet feeling in the world because this was at the end of February, right before things started to become really unsafe and before quarantine and coronavirus all happened so because that was literally the last time we were able to see everyone see all of our friends was at my birthday party so sadness <laughs> this is me gabbing talking shit who wants to know wow okay so in like 10 minutes i got rid of so much already okay guys something's happening today you can hear them in here buzzing away <laughs> 